Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Global Indices and starting with the S&P on the weekly chart first you can see the stochastics is uh, pulling down quite low here so we're kind of in the ballpark here obviously indicators are lagging and I've got this running on a pretty high uh, fast speed here the 38.2% retracement level is at the 4300 so we are also close to that as well so um, there's two things that we can look at. We can look at either wave four being on this low here, and we'll talk about that particular move to the downside, or we can bring wave four over here. We know we know wave fours can get uh, rather complicated. So then what we do is we have a look at the stock market and have a look at the leading stocks and to see what pattern they are in at this particular point. And uh, we'll be doing that today, just looking at um, a couple of those stocks to get an idea of the two typical patterns that are emerging in the market so just over to the daily chart here the way for one lesser degree and 38.2 percent is uh here so we could put way four here we could put way four down here a little bit and we can put way four over here that's the problem with way fours um so we need to um understand um the situation we're in at the moment you can see the stochastics also being very lazy and and um stacking up uh on the lows here at the moment so it's likely that we're going to see <clears throat> a move to the upside and a lot of the stocks um you know that are leading to the upside have got a little impulse wave to the upside now there's a bit of a mixed bag about <clears throat> about those so we need to go in and and just have a look at that and i think i'll do that now so the two different the two different uh scenarios in the market there's probably more but i just cover sort of a <clears throat> you know half a dozen ten of the large tech stocks each day so i'll just use them as my bit of <clears throat> consensus and guide stick so to speak so this is apple here and apple's got a reasonably clear one two three four five <clears throat> move down here so we've got five waves in this move here so in elliott terms if that's the case then we would be getting an a wave here a b wave and a c wave up to the 50 60 percent that's kind of stock standard at that point because we get five here we'll get a corrective pattern here and then five down here so that means that that particular pattern here would see the s p um we'll talk about this low in a moment but basically uh an a and a b and a c wave over here for <clears throat> for this market that's sort of one possibility the other possibility we've got probably less stocks are doing this and this is probably <clears throat> uh, an example that's probably too good is nvidia they've just had their earnings so we looked at this particular pattern uh, coming down here which is very much like the nasdaq and the s p and um, most of them are the sort of same but different you know but uh, anyway what we had here is we had an instance where we had an um, I haven't got this labeled here at the moment, but uh, we counted nice, very nice, clean five waves up here. So because we had five here, we were looking for a correction back over into this space here and then a move up again. And the earnings kind of gave it a little bit of a boost, a, a massive boost, really. But the point being here is that um, we will be looking for, I will be looking for a you know a move we may go one and two here or we may just drift sort of higher but, but whichever way it goes we will be moving higher up into the 52530 uh area for this move so in this case it's interesting because we can put wave four here so in that case um it's not the only one we could do that with uh google we could probably do it with amazon um so that means well we could put the way four back here because normally i look at all the stocks and get a consensus of um what the hell's going on you know <clears throat> but there is a bit of a mixed bag and that's the mixed bag at the moment okay so as i mentioned in the stock video this morning we can go along in certain stocks um but they will be swing trades just into this particular leg here um and then we need to get out and yada 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 so it's a bit of a a thing there so that's really the the issue at the moment with the uh current pattern at the moment so uh yeah i don't know i can't really sort of add to that at the moment so we can talk about long trades to the upside we could talk about that so if we go to go from one day to i don't need to go to twenty thousand. i'll just go to uh one thousand that should be good enough so 
So with this particular market, the S&P here, there is a case for the market to come down one more leg here. Now, most of the other markets around the around the um, around the place of have, have already got their lows in and I could put a low in here. No problems. I could do that. But um, I always like to look at the cautious side. And <coughs> if I'm going to go long, I want to know the bearish count. So <clears throat> this is the bearish count. So. I could look at this here as um, as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here. So that means that this little move in here, there'll be five waves in here, and this will pull back. So basically, in a nutshell, we can go long above this current high here. We can see the stochastic sort of pulling back a little bit here. So the question you need to ask yourself, you know, is this the closest largest number, the 4,400 here in this instance? Is that a tested support? Well, it's trying to get there, isn't it? You know what I mean? And it looks like it wants to push up a little bit further. So then you would go back in and you start counting this up here. One, two, three, four, five. So that's wave one and two in here. Is this all of the third wave in here? Is that the fourth and the fifth? Or is there one more move to go in here? I mean, if it was going to be a five wave structure to the upside here, to there, to there, then you would expect it to pull back to the 50, 60 percent, wouldn't you? Or anywhere between 40 and 60, let's just say. But you'd want to see some type of of correction pull back into there and the way that the stochastics are behaving it looks like it doesn't want to do that it looks like it wants to push up here so maybe it's not the top but at some point we you will see some sort of abc correction here and then once it pulls back and leaves this particular trend um and it may be doing it now to just i'm just saying um and that might just be this pull back here might just be the little b wave going up this second move here and then you can, anyway take that second high out there and then you can go along at that point okay so this is just for the short-term traders um, and if this doesn't succeed, it's not like it succeed. It, it basically protects you because otherwise, if you buy these two highs here um, and you don't, it doesn't pan out. Well, then it's just going to come down here, and it keeps you safe that way. So that's the classic trading levels pattern. And I'm just going to clean this mess up here. So we've got the idea. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> that's that. So we can go basically. I'll just put this, we can go along, you know, above the, uh, once the high comes in, but you won't know the high. And let's even count those ones there. When you see it pull back, then you know you've got a high in there. Okay, so that will take it away from the A, the B and the C of being away four, and that way it will go up there further and keep you safe. And otherwise it will move down here, count five ways down and then go along from that particular point. Because there will be a bit of a pullback here. And even the bullish stocks like Nvidia here, like if this is five waves up here, <clears throat> I've got it counted in two ways because it's really extending here. So it's, be, <clears throat> it's behaving like a third wave there. So I'll look at this as one and two and one and two and a third wave up here. But otherwise, one, two, three, four and five up here and having a top here and then having this ABC pattern here. So while the, even the strongest stocks go into profit taking, then that's good enough to give these guys, a, a you know, just to take nip out the low here and then move up from that point. So that's the S&P and this is the NASDAQ here. So obviously, you know, when we're talking about <coughs> um, Apple here, we can count five waves down here. So we need to take that on board and, <coughs> you know, and apply this to any other stock that's dropped quite deeply, you know, that um, could be meta, those sorts of stocks. Um, anything that was really started from the July um, <clears throat> tops up here <clears throat> will be in the same same pattern. So that means that the NASDAQ can also be an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. It doesn't have to go that high, anywhere between 40 and 60% to, to the upside there. Um, so this is probably what we're up against here. And it could be a bit like this, you know, an A wave here, B wave and a C wave down here. So an A and a B and a C and a drop back down a uh, bit lower. The space for it to drop down at a 38.2% um, retracement level there. Let's go for a dive into the uh, intraday and, and talk about this trend down here and, and a bit more about this here. So let's just go to 20K. So this particular move down here can be counted as an <clears throat> A wave, a B wave, one and two. <clears throat> and it just depends on how you feel like counting this here. So two, three, four, five, that's doable at this point. 
Now, we've also been using one of the ETFs as well um, to help us navigate through this as well, the XLK. So we can have a look at that in a moment. So in this case here, it's possible to call a wave four low in here. So this ABC pattern that we're going to be looking at here, if I can just use these here, a B wave up here and a C wave over here for this, that's, um, you know, that this, this may happen and it may not happen. That's the thing, because with Apple, we would expect this to happen. Um, with NVIDIA, we would just expect it to go sort of higher through there and Google could be in that boat. Um, um, Amazon could be in that boat. There's a few of them that can go just straight up through here. So um, we talked about that in trading uh, stock. So we, um, we, yeah, well, I won't go into that at the moment. It's a little bit more detailed, but um, just basically swing trading in those. So this countdown here is an A and a B and the C wave down here for this is, is uh, valid. But uh, it just depends on how you want to count this in here, because if I go from one uh, twenty thousand to uh, one thousand, I think I've got it counted as five waves uh, here for this. So give you a little bit more data, and you know you can compare yours as well. I mean, this is a CFD product, so it's kind of got the cash and the futures there. So this would be one and two at this point, and then one and two. And then wave three, four, and five for the third wave, the fourth wave, and the fifth wave. Now, some of that's really easy to follow, like one and two is easy, one and two is easy, uh, four is easy, five is easy. But this in here is a bit of a, um, it's got overlapping wave structures, and the S&P is even more complicated than that. But when we look at the <clears throat> the tech sector, the XLK here, we can see that it's moved down quite nicely through here. It's been one of the smoothest through here. So it's been a little bit of a template. So we could also look at this as one and two here. And then a bit detailed in here, one and two, you can go check in all this later and pull holes in it. And what's the name? Um, three and four and five here. So this is very much like the Apple count here. So we could expect this to rally back up into the 61.8% or 50, but I'll just put the pocket there at 60, 62 and 65. <clears throat> so, so basically what we can do with all of these, it does appear that we've got some sort of impulse wave here. So you just need to find the top as we talked about with the S&P and then you can look to go long on these, um, on these moves here. It will hit the top of these wave fours here and, um, uh, you know, and uh, come down from that point, roughly speaking, and then gravitate over to closest largest number. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the deal, really. So it's a bit of um, it's a bit of this A and B and C wave coming down. It won't come down much further here because <clears throat> um, because the thirty eight point two percent for the for the Nasdaq is is down here a little bit. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a tricky one. Um, it's easier to trade the stocks. So as mentioned, uh, Google and Nvidia were our um, trades uh, for yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to remove this, <clears throat> and then um, and then move into. Um, well, that's the NASDAQ, so we don't need that. Oh, well, with the NASDAQ here, if you want to trade long here, then you can just use the 15,000 and, and use this particular pattern here. You know, you need to ask yourself, is it support yet? So wait for the first high above the level. And then we go to the Russell. Now, the Russell um, is a little bit like the S&P. It's, it's twofold. We could view it... Um, as the wave A here, and then going up for an ABC like the NASDAQ, and we'll go a little bit higher up here for, for, for this. Or while a lot of the stocks are doing, a lot of the markets are doing their B wave up here, this market could be doing a, a more sideways wave four here, and then come down for this wave five here. You can squeeze five waves out of this here in terms of one, two, three, four, five here. <clears throat> But I don't, to me, this is not the best long trade uh, in, in the markets at this point. So, and the other point here too is this can come back up to the 38.2% here. That's where that can come back. So I'm expecting it up, right? I'm expecting the market up. So you can go long. You could probably go long above that top there. It looks like a little impulse wave here. Um, 
but yeah, just be a little bit mindful about things. Um, there's no real consolidation at the 38.2% here. So this would be, it would be before that here at the, at the 1880. So that brings us into a bit of a group two area there. So 1880, 1872 and 1865, that little group two. So that would be more important than, than, cause there's no real trade volume in, in here. So there's no, no, his, not, no history there for that. So. Uh, 1880 will be the um, space of that. So is that going to be a B wave or wave four? I can't tell you that. I don't know. Um, I haven't spent enough time on, on this market. So um, the uh, the FTSE and the Australian market are, are same, same. So in this case, uh, we have breached the low here. So that means that, look, I could WXY it and all those sorts of things. I, I understand that, but um, I'm a bit of an ABC man. So um, I'm going to leave it like this here. I would expect the Australian market and the English market to give us a nice sideways complex correction before finishing off down here. And this leg down here, when, you know, when Apple does its little ABC pattern here um, and then comes down here, this will be wave four for the UK market and then finishing off down here, then they'll all, then they'll all run together at that point. That's what I'm thinking. That's, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking for this, you know. So it makes a, a larger um, corrective pattern here and you, <clears throat> you can label it differently. I, I understand that. And this will be the same for, so in here, I, I just wouldn't get involved in here. You know, this looks like a third wave, smells like a third wave. So this wave is going to, this is going to be complex and choppy in here. Do not lose money in here. Trade another market, you know. Uh, have a look at the US stocks and trade those. Um, so this is the same for the Australian market as well. We can view this here. It does count down here as one ABC for two here. And then there's, there's actually quite a nice five wave structure in here for three and then four and five for either wave A or one. We haven't, not like the FTSE, we haven't taken out the low here. So we could still have this as an A and a B and a C wave down here. It hasn't really finished off very nicely here as well. So I don't have all the answers here, <clears throat> but um, it's probably one and two and three and some type of wave four here and then down for wave five here. So in the bigger picture for this, if we look at the daily chart here for a moment. So it's a little bit different here. <clears throat> um, we could also just come down. This is a bit really quite messy in here. I can see that it's, it's quite corrective, but basically we'll be looking for wave four and wave five coming in here somewhere. So once again, when when Apple or the banking sector comes down in this side over here and finishes off, this will be this leg here finishing off, coming into this old lows over here as a more complicated pattern for this market. So the XJO high over here, so an A wave, a B wave, an A, B, C for the C wave here, then a D wave over here for this, and then an E wave over here, and then we can push up at that point. <clears throat> so the banking sector will be, is the same. The little, I mean, CBA is a little bit different, but WBC and ANZ and all of those, you can see that they've been in, in long, in, in triangle patterns, even longer than, longer than this here, you know, <clears throat> almost like the Chinese market. Um, so that's where I, and this is complicated. So I, I don't, I, I don't really see any sort of trades here. I mean, once we come down here and this move up here, that will be a, a trade. And that's when the U S markets will, um, push up from that point and help, help our market up at that, at that point. But that's sort of how I see that, but shorting it here, going long here, I just can't see it. You know, I just, it's just a bit of a, just a bit of a mess at this at this point in time, so I don't see I don't see a trade uh, coming into play here for uh, for for this market here. Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.